Hello. About three weeks ago, I posted a video Potatoes Growing in Seaweed Experiment Part 2. You may have seen it, you may not. But three weeks ago, I had a worry that we might catch a late frost. And because these potatoes are outdoors, in pots, I had some improvised uh, frost protection. I'll just show you that and I'll show you how the potatoes have got on in that three week uh, that's elapsed. Okay. This is a potato called Home Guard. Um, three weeks ago, I was using these things. Punnets that used to have uh, fruit in them to protect the tops. But as you can see, it's not going to fit now. Um, so we're in the lap of the gods, so to speak. If we get a frost, we get a frost. Uh, they'll just have to survive it as best they can. I can't cover them up anymore. Okay, now that's home guard. And that's doing well. But take a look at this guy. If you got that, that was Molly sneezing. If you didn't get it, you didn't get it. Look at that guy. That's Maris Bard. Now, <laughs> this punnet three weeks ago fitted over that potato. Look at it now. No chance. So the seaweed and leaves in this pot uh, was mixed at the beginning of the year. So no way can we call it compost as yet because it hasn't composted down. But it's getting there. And as it's composting down, these potatoes are growing in these pots. No soil as I've already told you in part two, no fertilizer, no nothing. Just seaweed and leaves, some TLC, uh, and a drink when they look thirsty. Uh, so I think you'll agree, these guys are looking good. I'm just wishing I'd actually uh, sown some more now in this seaweed and leaves mix. But anyway, we've got two pots, and in a month's time, we should be emptying these guys out. Uh, and it's okay having lots of green on the top, but if you've got no potatoes on the bottom, you can hardly call it a success. So we'll just, we'll just avoid that for the time being, but let's hope in a month's time, we have a success on our hands, okay? This is homegrown veg, signing out.